So you're a growing YouTuber and you wanna start getting brand deals, but how much should you charge? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Stick around, it's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video. I'm a YouTube and a TikTok influencer. And on this channel, I teach video creators like you how to grow a profitable YouTube career. So be sure to subscribe. So let's imagine that you make a video and you get an email from a company that wants to do a brand deal with you. Hello? Hi there, I'm a brand and we just saw your video and we wanna offer you a brand deal. You wanna do a brand deal with me? Well, that's amazing, how much do you wanna pay me? Well, not only will you get to work with our stellar company, but we'll also give you a free hat. A free hat? Awesome, when do we get started? Awesome, we got him. <laughs> no, you cannot be doing that. You have to be charging money for your brand deals. Anytime, any company that's making any kind of money, they have money, and you're making videos, you have to charge them. You have to get them to take their money and make it your money. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to do that because otherwise you're gonna find yourself putting in all of these hours making a video that at the end of the day, you hated making because all you got for it was a free hat. So the question is, how much should you charge a brand to do a brand deal? And we're gonna talk about that today. There are three big points I want you to walk away with. Let's start with the first point, which is charge for the cost of video production. And this is the Beth method. Beth, Beth method. Beth, Beth, this is the Beth method. This is the best method if your channel is under a thousand subscribers. And basically here's how it works. Let's say you're in contact with the business, either they contacted you or you're outreaching and contacting them, which is what I recommend. But either way, you get a brand on the line and they say, I wanna do a brand deal. How much do you charge? You should charge them exactly what a videographer would charge to create a video for their business. Now here's why you do that, because if the company wants to get a video that promotes their company, then they're going to make money on anybody that buys their product or visits their website from that video. They're gonna make money. So you need to be in a position to make money. And what some companies wanna do is they want you to absorb the cost of making the video, and then they pay you with like a free sample of their product or something like that. I, I would not recommend doing that, unless of course their, their product is 500 or 1,000 bucks, and they're gonna give you one of those, and, and equitably it, it, you know, it, it balances out, it makes sense. So how much should you charge for a video? Well, I have my own opinions on that, but I did some research online, and I wanna show you what I found here. This is an article from Thumbtack, which is a freelancer website, and they asked the question, how much does video production cost? And on average, they figured it's between $880 and $1,200 nationwide. Now, this is based on a couple of obvious factors, like the total runtime of the video, how many you know, cameras required, the quality of those cameras, and so on and so forth. That might seem like a lot, but think about everything that goes into the cost of video production. First of all, there's scripting or planning, right? You gotta think about what you're even gonna do in this video, and that takes your time. You need to charge for your time. The second part of that is filming, and that is not only your time, but your expertise, right? If you paid 2,000, 4,000 bucks for a camera, then that video, that company is getting the value of your investment, and so you need to, you need to be sure that you're charging for your expertise. Uh, there's also the editing part of that, and that's just hard, hard skills. And I, I actually recommend hiring an editor for your brand deals, and I made a video that's all about that. You can check that in the link above if you wanna check that out. But there is a cost and a time investment for editing. You've also gotta create a thumbnail. This is, again, more pictures, more know-how. You have to know how to make a thumbnail. Then you gotta upload and optimize the video, make sure there's the right title on it, make sure there's the right tags on it. And then are you gonna do the social media posting and, and putting it on Twitter and that sort of thing? Like all of those things take your time and energy and you can't be doing that for a free hat. Now I will say this, this is the best free hat that I've ever gotten in my life and it's from my good buddy Roger Wakefield over on the Plumbing Channel. Love you, Roger. So Thumbtack says that you should charge $880, but if it's your first brand deal and you're getting used to brand deals, I would actually recommend that you charge about $500 and then ask for at least one free product as well because 
free stuff can be cool as long as you're getting paid as well. Now you can charge less than $500 if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. That brings us to tip number two, and that is you can charge based on the amount of views that your average video gets. Now, this is generally reserved for when your channel gets a lot bigger, but generally speaking, this is not the way that I want you to charge because you're gonna get paid a lot less. But here's the thing, YouTubers do this because they wanna feel bigger. Look, when I wanna feel bigger, you know what I do? I put on my son's clothing, I do, because I burst out of it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm growing. My muscles is getting big, right? But for the most part, that was ridiculous, but for the most part, um, I just totally <laughs> lost, my, lost my place in that. As a video creator, I want you to be more focused on making money rather than feeling like you're a big YouTuber because you're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna realize that you're making a lot of money. I, I will never forget the day that I woke up and realized that I was making 100 grand a year. Okay, this is a couple years ago. But you know, I never thought that that would be possible for me and it changed the way that I did everything because I didn't focus on how famous I was, I was focusing on how much money I was making. But let's, let's go back to, to number two, which is how to charge for the cost of, of views. So let me show you just how YouTube monetization works, okay? So first of all, here's how YouTube, traditional YouTube monetization works. The advertisers pay YouTube a chunk of money to play an ad, to play their ad in front of a whole bunch of videos. And YouTube then pays you a small percentage of what the advertiser pays them. This is called CPM, okay? And CPM stands for cost per mil. Mil means 1,000, so in this case. So it's based on 1,000 units. So let's say that the CPM of a, of a video is $40 and your video gets 10,000 views. Well, that would be 10 times 40 equals $400. Or in other words, a video that gets 10,000 views is worth about $400. So knowing this, what you would do as the channel owner is that you would charge the brand deal the same amount of money as YouTube would charge the brand if they were running ads. In this case, you would charge $400 for a video that's gonna get around 10,000 views. Now the trick to this is that you gotta have a channel where your average videos are getting 10,000 views, no problem. And if you get more than that, then, then you can charge more than that. But to me, this is totally bogus, and here's why. Because the brand and YouTube and the market are in total control of what you're getting paid. And what you get paid and your talent and your skill and your equipment doesn't even come in to the factor. Now, don't get me wrong. There are situations where CPM can be really good. You know, if you got a channel, you're getting 20,000 views on every video, you know, you could be charging 800 to, to 1,000 views, or excuse me, 800 to $1,000 per video, but if, if you're a growing YouTuber, this is not going to work into your advantage. And what you get paid is totally dependent on the performance of the video. You don't want this. It's a better deal for YouTube than it is for you. So what I would recommend is the third and the most profitable way to charge for a brand deal. And that is to charge whatever you wanna make. You heard me. This is actually my favorite way of charging for brand deals and it's where you're gonna make the most amount of money. In fact, this year, I brought on a brand sponsor for $36,000 because I followed the exact method that I'm gonna share with you right now. So when I say you can charge whatever you wanna charge, what I'm talking about is you charge what you think you're worth. And this basically will combine the costs of video production, thumbnail production, also your influence or your talent on screen plus the cost of your time working with the brand, taking phone calls, writing emails, signing contracts, pitching ideas, right? All of these things eat up your time and you should be charging for it. I mean, think about this. Think about the people that work for the brands, okay? The people that work for the brands, they're getting paid for every email they send you because they're on salary, right? So every email they send you, every phone call they make, they're getting paid. Why shouldn't you get paid, right? You should be, get paid for this time. So. I want you to, to see this formula. It's pretty simple, but be ready to take a screenshot so that you can remember how to do it. It's, it's really golden information. So let's say that you're a smaller YouTuber. Maybe you're like under a thousand subscribers and you want to make $2,000 per month. Okay. And let's say that at your current schedule, you're able to produce four videos per month. Well, if you break that down, then your cost per video is 
$500 per video. And what, what does that sound like? It sounds like tip number one, dog. That is exactly the tip that I gave you in the beginning is to charge about $500 for video, okay? But let's take that even one step farther. Check this out. Let's say that you're a small YouTuber and you wanna make $5,000 per month in brand deals. Well, at four videos per month, that's $1,250 per video. That's what you should be charging. Now, just let that sink in for a minute, okay? Don't X out of the video yet, we're not done. We got like 30 more seconds. But just think about doing one video, you're under 1,000 subscribers, and you charge $1,250 per video because you're talented, you have expensive gear, you know how to edit, you know how to do all that stuff. In fact, Thumbtack already told us that, that the average video is $800 to $1,200, so it's totally reasonable for you to charge that amount of money you just have to like deliver it like powerfully. You, you can't be like, you can't be like, oh, a thousand dollars maybe. No, you'd be like, hey, a, a video of this caliber is well within my wheelhouse. I'd love to do it for you. It's gonna cost you $1,250. Where do you sign? Okay, but here's the thing. That $1,250, that 1250, it's gonna include like scripting and planning, filming, editing, the thumbnail, optimizing and uploading. But if you still feel like that's too much money, you can add in some additional perks so that the brand feels like they're getting a better deal. Here are five examples of perks that you can add. You can offer to live stream a webinar on their channel. You can offer to give them five Instagram images of you using their product or service that they can host on their Instagram channel. You can post about the brand in your stories. Think about this, man. You got a Facebook story, maybe a LinkedIn story, and, and a, a YouTube story if you're bigger, and an Instagram story. You should never, ever put a brand deal video on a story if the brand did not pay for that, okay? Now, you can add it in as a perk for sure, right? But you should never do extra stuff for brands unless it's a part of the package deal, okay? So another thing that you could do is you could send an email to your list about the brand and include some purchase links and maybe make some sales for them. Or you could do a live stream on your channel that is about the brand's product or service. All right, my, my point is this. You need to use all the tools at your disposal to add value to the deal so that the brand feels like the $1,200 is worth it. Look, I've been following this strategy for a long time. I'm really good at getting brand deals and I highly recommend that you watch the rest of the videos in this series and start getting good at finding brand deals, finding sponsors, charging them the right amount of money and making more money as a YouTuber because you don't have to be huge to make a full-time career on YouTube. You just have to know how to do it. So watch this video next. I can't wait to see you there. I'm Owen, see you in the next video.